Let's see how this works out. I promise if a rod come up here, and I'll come up here again. So let's call this the preview of coming soon. It's quite a nice little walk as well. So no more trees then, for now. Although the, the analogy stands, doesn't it? The slow strangulation of the human race within its own concrete prison. Are we like the trees? Did we not get a choice? Are we just manipulated? Does someone just... Telling us what to do all the time with absolutely everything. I like Heather Thunderhawk's garden. Did you know, did you not? In that beautiful little place. And Evie's garden. <laughs> it's a lovely little place, those mushrooms. Uh, they do go around here occasionally. I'll try and pick them up as I not pick them up, but film them as I'm as I see them. Oh, that's the men in black. <laughs> I'm busy around here for quite a little area. Oh no, I said I wasn't going to, but they're getting all covered up in all and stuff. So I've had a fascination with a particular topic, era, for a long, long time. I'm sure many people do. Read a lot of fiction about it. Got a lot of questions about it. There's a lot more needs to be asked about it. And a considerable amount more revealed about it. Empathy is the path to a kinder world. Please go vegan. Well, no would be the answer to that. I've overgrown round here at the minute. How's that for a spot of perspective? And as always, if the pigeons make me jump, you're allowed to laugh. I'll be quiet, you might hear them. Nah, even I can't hear them, not here today. Not CGI. <laughs> Actual train. Hey. And I didn't jump. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, no, it's not really here for a deep and meaningful again. Just taking you for a walk, show you something. And it saves me having to film the walk next time and I can have uh, more battery power when I arrive. I'll climb up there, but I'm not brave enough anymore. <laughs> I used to, my kids used to go nursery just here. I used to climb up that bank with them, even with them on my shoulders a couple of times. My goodness, that was almost 10 years ago now. <laughs> Maybe I'll cheat and cut the short bit at the end. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll have to do this again at some point, but just while I remember it, on the record, uh, a young lad called Jamie Brown, Flat Earther, only got four subscribers. So, uh, 
bumping him up by a couple at least. <laughs> he seems like a good lad. Walkington Station. That bloody great big thing never used to be there. Never mind. So here we go. Crofton Roman Villa. Now of course I won't be able to go in today. Just one of those occasions where I have to make myself scarce again. But that needed to be open to see one, two tiny little pieces, three pieces. Actual Roman walls. You can see it going off the edge there. I'll stand back a little bit. That's one small part. And there's another one here. It does actually go off under the fence. Let's see what we can see as we go past. Just. It's just back there. Ooh. So yeah, there was a Roman garrison up there at one point. Roman villa on the top of the hill for the old Lord and Master. She goes under the tree now, this one. I said I weren't going to mention them, but there it is, sitting right on top of it. I do believe there's a small bit just over here. With, a, of course, a not-so-Roman park right next to it. <laughs> there goes a bit of the wall off there. At some point I'll come back. My, my son's coming here at some point with the school. I didn't get the chance to go this time and too many parents volunteered. <laughs> so it's a nice change. Mind you, they always want to vote for the local ones. No one ever wants to go for the full day up to the town halls and stuff, museums. And they can't even get a little picture through the window. I thought I might have done, but there's a, there's a big excavation site in there. And now uh, you can see a lot more of what's, what's floating around, what was. Roman Centurion. Now of course I'm pretty sure you can go online, check some of this out yourself, have a look at some pretty good pictures. Let's have a quick look on the door, see if there's anything about it. Otherwise I will come back and uh, find out some more. Well, here we go, look for more information. Email crofton.roman.villa at gmail.com. There are some other bits on there. You can read them yourself, can't you? But yeah, hope you enjoyed a little walk. Now I'm going to walk back and I'll leave it rolling. You don't have to stay. I don't plan on saying anything, but if I do, I do. But well, that's where I'll be coming to soon. Um, if, if they let me film it, and even if they don't, I'll sneak it. I hope I look fair. Ah, I should have stayed still. <laughs> Considering I've been here at least three times with the children and on my own back, I can't remember bugger all. <laughs> It's been a while. But again, if anyone else has got uh, any, anything like this in their area, if you walk past it all the time, let's have a look, man. Let's have a look. Have a Thunderhawks little visit to the church. Wow, <laughs> that was so cool. I enjoyed that so much. Have a look. Yellow car. Two one, I do believe, Jess. Just checking the car park, there's nothing in there. <laughs> I might snip just that Roman bit out for the uh, for the old impatient people. Just over there. Can you see the bridge? Oh yeah, I've got that steps. Maybe I should go the other way, Daniel. <laughs> oh boy.
Ja, verder.